So with fingerprint powder, it's really just a preference on what you would like, what you prefer to work with. A lot of times, regular fingerprint powder will work better on my cars. I feel like magnetic powder is a little, a little bit cleaner than yeah. regular fingerprint powder. I've also found it's harder to overprocess with magnetic powder, but at the end of the day, it's really just preference. Um, all CSIs have their own preference on if they like magnetic powder or regular powder better. So I'm going to be showing magnetic fingerprint powder. So pretty much the whole process is going to be very similar to what Kelsey showed. The only difference is going to be the powder itself and the brush. So rather than using your traditional brush with feathers or such, the fingerprint powder itself in this method is going to make its own brush. So with this one, once we form the brush with the fingerprint powder, we're just going to lightly um, go over those areas where we're searching for some prints. Um, we're going to look for that same ridge detail um, in those. And with the magnetic fingerprint powder, um, you don't really need to use a lot. So um, once we have those developed, we'll be able to see here, we have multiple fingerprints with some really good ridge detail. And once we're done with the powder, we simply just pull up and the fingerprint powder will go back where we got it from. And then same thing as Kelsey did, we'll then um, get some tape. We're gonna go ahead and put that on our fingerprint card. Then on the other end, we'll have all the filled out information, including where we got that fingerprint and information about the case. So that is it with fingerprint powder.